Before a designer begins to design a collection each season, they come up with a concept. And in order to organize all of their thoughts, they usually create a board. Now, this board could have images, uh, fabric trim, quick sketches, text, anything that pertains to that concept. But as important as a concept board is, a lot of people really don't understand how to make one and what should go on it. So let's talk about it. So what is a concept board? A concept board should convey a mood, but ultimately it should also tell the story of your collection for the season. This is why I prefer to call it a concept board rather than a mood board. Thinking of a board more conceptually helps ensure that you create a board where you can be very creative in how you interpret those concepts into clothing. Because of this, I usually suggest to my students to think about using abstract pictures and items in addition to any runway photos you may want to include. This helps to lessen the chance that you knock off the look and increases your ability to interpret a concept and come up with a unique garment or detail. The other thing I like about using more abstract photos is that it helps you establish your design language. For instance, this board shows a mix of actual garments and more abstract pictures. That concept board served as the inspiration for this leather and denim two-tone skirt. This, along with the rest of the items from the collection, took the idea of the structure created by the darts, but also incorporated the fullness and volume seen in the two garments and the clay pottery on the left. So when you're making your concept board, make sure that when you're done, or you think you're done, that the board does three things. It tells a cohesive story, it serves as a reference for you to design your collection, and it inspires you to create your design language for the seasonal collection. So how do you begin to create your concept board? Well, there's no hard and fast rules and different things work for different people. You may be inspired by fabric, a picture, or something you see on the street. Whatever it is, start pulling whatever you're responding to and put it on a board and don't edit yourself. If you're unsure about your ideas or unsure how to narrow down and get clear about your direction, a mind map is a great way to start. A mind map is a way for you to visually and organically organize your thoughts about a topic. It's almost like a brain dump. It helps you get any ideas out of your head and onto paper so you can start organizing your thoughts. Again, don't edit yourself, but after you do the exercise, you'll be able to see what stands out and you can build on that. And if you're looking for some tools to help with this, Canva has some great templates. You can also use tools like Padlet and MindView. Once you've got all of your ideas out of your head and onto paper or a board, you can now start to edit. And remember, you want to narrow down to a specific cohesive idea so that your collection looks like it tells a story. Make sure that your idea is not too broad and also make sure that you're not designing it to too many ideas. Otherwise, that's exactly what your collection is going to look like. Too many ideas. Thanks for watching this week's tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.